Sagittarius, let's go ahead and jump straight into your reading. Any information that you may be looking for will be listed in the description. All right, Sagittarius, what are they expecting or what are they not expecting to happen that may actually take place in the second half of August? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. So we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Judgment card in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. So right off the bat, if you're not getting paid what you deserve or what you believe your expertise is deserving of, you guys are going to be looking at other sources of employment. Uh, there could be like this growing feeling of you not feeling connected to the specific job that you're at um, or certain aspects of this job. Maybe the people you work with, maybe the amount of money, like I said. But if you're not getting treated right for your expertise, you guys are going to be in this energy of wanting to move on to bigger and better things. And what you may not be expecting to happen is some of you are going to manifest this new job, this time frame, or you're finally going to have the boss to be like, okay, it's time for me to shift into something new. Okay, especially with the judgment card in reverse in the Six of Pentacles, you could be beating yourself up for areas in your life where you feel like you've made the wrong decision by allowing yourself to put up with the fact that you're receiving literally nothing for what you put out into the universe. And also in saying that, you're also looking at where you guys haven't extended yourself enough to make certain opportunities happen, like a business prospering or, you know, you taking that leap of faith and going into uncharted territories. It's like you're realizing where you haven't been doing enough and where you've been doing too much. Something also may come up with a earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You could also be re reneging on some sort of choice that you made. This could have been some things that you said in the heat of the moment or some things that you may have done in the heat of the moment. So there's definitely a need for you to be careful uh, in the second half of August of doing things impulsively. All right, we have the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Hmm. You guys could be very irritated by certain things. Um, you want to be careful of letting your irritation or anger get you out of character or get you out of your element. You could even have somebody who's trying to make you mad. Okay, this could be another fire sign, regardless of the zodiac sign. It just kind of seems like people are trying to do things to trigger you, and you need to be careful of how you respond, especially if this is a co-worker, a uh, husband, wife, friend, roommate. Hmm. There's something here that you guys are trying to let go of. or that you may actually have to let go of. This could be a burden here, like a financial burden. So let's say you have a car that you don't even use like that. You could be letting go of this vehicle so that you can keep more money in your pocket. Or this could be you cutting down certain financial responsibilities that you have just so that you can make more space for your money to be used elsewhere. You could also feel like you wanna let go of some sort of grudge or some sort of issue you have with someone you could be seeing how it's literally taking too much energy out of you and it's too much all right i have the eight of cups strength card justice card and the ace of swords hmm Some of you guys may feel like you're forced to either leave a Leo or a Libra. There could be things that are happening in this situation that are really making you uncomfortable. And it's to a point where you don't want to leave. But if you have to, you will. Hmm. 
Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who you're starting to realize is not that confident and that could be the bulk of the problems in your relationship. They're constantly worried about who you're dealing with, what uh, what extent of that relationship you have with them. They're like constantly caught up in their personal ego or like I said, them not being confident enough uh, in the connection. So they're constantly questioning you. And if it's not a confidence issue, like I said, it could be an ego issue where this person... Um, whenever they get mad, they get caught up in their ego and they don't try to work on the relationship or make it better. They just do what they feel like um, will like help their ego stay intact. Let's keep going. You could also have somebody lie on you in court if you're in some sort of legal battle here you could have somebody lie on you or twist pieces of information like trying to play a semantics game so make sure you're crossing your t's and dotting your i's especially in virgo season you're going through any legal uh repercussions or legal things that you're dealing with what are my sagittarius not expecting to happen all right, so I have do the work, savings, and we also have focus on your priorities, but it did come out in reverse. So yes, Virgo season, it's time for you guys to get into the details of everything. It's time for you guys to get to work. And I think that during this time frame, you could have the energy to maybe start that project, start that creative project, start that... Hmm. Start that workout plan. It just feels like you're starting things that you've already wanted to take action on or maybe even started to do previously, but you're just now getting into the flow of like creating it as a habit or making this a habit. Anywho, also with savings, you could have to go into your savings during this time frame to pay for something unexpectedly. Okay, you may even have to just save up your money for something that's important. So make sure that you're not just spending, spending, spending. Okay, keep money for a rainy day is what Spirit is saying. And then when it comes to your priorities, yes, you may realize that you guys have not been as focused as you need to be. And a lack of focus could have been the source of you not being able to succeed like how you really want to. So make sure you're drawing the attention to things that matter, not things that are forms of distractions, essentially. Things that just kind of put smoke over what really matters. But Sagittarius, this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe so you never miss a beat in the future. And I will see you in the next one.